Nice. That's Ooh. a C7. Head. Good. Relax more. And it's gone. Still looser. <laughs> nice. Okay. Nice. Good. Nice. There we go. How you feel? Would you suggest ABC to other people? Absolutely. <laughs> Game. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Bain here. Haven't had a video in probably about three months, so I figured it's about time. This is one of my patients, David. Say hello to everybody. Hi everyone. So David, tell them a little bit about what have you experienced with ABC so far since you've been here? Um, just um, getting getting better, um, it, it, getting my body healed. Yeah. Um, you know, incredible changes have uh, been made. Sweet. And, yeah, and it's all natural. So what was your main thing that you came in with originally? Do you remember? Um, uh, back issues, yes. upper back issues. And what would you say you have now? Do you still have upper back issues? No, not at all. <laughs> Good. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> so, all right. So let's show you everybody a visit here. So let's have you right here. And now everybody, I've got my, uh, I got a new fancy mirror so I can uh, see people's posture now from the side. So just take a nice deep breath. Let your body go loose. And everybody can see that. He's got a little slouch here, but it's not much at all. Just a little bit. He used to have a much bigger one. Now we got almost nothing. Look down for me. Back to normal. So as usual here, I'm checking for meningeal adhesions. Look up for me. Down the center, right about there is good. Okay, look to your right. Down to center. And left side for me. Down to center. Good. And one more time down for me. Back into the middle. So, so far, nothing too big here, but we can see by his posture that he's got C7 out. I'll check it anyway, but I'm 99% sure it's there just because of how it looks. So let's go back against this piece. All right, so shoulder's nice and loose here. Let me get this out of your way. So I'm gonna do two chops here first for the first rib. Nice and relaxed there. Good, right there. There it is, nice and relaxed there. Take a deep breath, let it go loose. Nice, all right, I'll move my camera every time I do this. It bumps into people's chests and sounds <laughs> terrible. Okay, so cross the arms there. Good, just like that. So this is gonna be C7. So I'm gonna bring this right here. That's it. Keep the head right there the whole time. Okay, I'm gonna get my hand placement. Keep their head right there. Relax the shoulders. A couple small pushes here first. Okay, it's right about there. Nice and relaxed. Nice, that's a C7. <laughs> Take a step forward. There, a little baby step forward. There you go, right there. Okay, now take a deep breath, relax. Good, bring this right to here. One more time, deep breath, relax. Okay, good, let's check it here. Up a little bit, right there. Okay, so we got something to move, but now, bring this up a little. Something in here. It's not that one. It's not that one. I'm trying to figure out which one it is, seven. One, it's right there. This is probably about, bring this up a little, it's about T2. Okay, so I'm gonna do T2 here, right about there. Cross the arms again. Let me feel my angle here. Head's gonna go right there. Keep the head there, relax your shoulders, let the head fall down just towards me right there. Good, I'm gonna lower my hand a little bit. Okay, let's go right here facing that. Take a deep breath, let your body relax. Okay, good. Let's keep going here. Bring this up just a bit, uh-huh. Okay, let's do a T4. Cross your arms over each other. Relax your shoulders, let the head slouch and fall. Keep coming. There, nice. That's a start, okay. And relax. Okay, good. Starting to pop up. I'm just looking at his folds in here in the mirror. There's a fold right about here. It's not that one. I can see it's right about there. Because if you look in the mirror, so I'll have, oh, no. <laughs> David, you're <laughs> talking about people at home. So if you look in the mirror, so right about here, he's got a little fold right in his chest. So I'm going to check that bone right there. Bring this up for me right to there. Okay. Okay, yep. So let's go right there for me. 
Cross the arms over each other. Let your body slouch forward. Keep coming, keep coming. Relax your head and shoulders. Good, one more. Relax your shoulders a little bit looser. Just like that, thank you. Now, let's see. Okay, good. Now we're getting somewhere. Now I'm gonna find a little fold right about, you can see it's right here. Uh-huh. Right about there. All right, where's that at? I'm gonna do that one sitting. So let me come have you come over on my side here. Sit here, legs that way flat for me. Just sitting up, right? Let me grab this guy. Okay, take mine off here, put it right there. Okay, cross your arms over each other for me. Let your chin, oh, actually take that off for a sec. Just throw it right there. Tuck your chin for me. Relax your shoulders. Let me get this out of your neck there. It's poking too much. Eh, we'll just clip it right here. Okay, let your shoulders relax. Let your stomach go loose. Good, right about here. Let it go. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> Unexcitedly not loud, but moved. <laughs> okay, come on by side here. All right, now let's see where we're at here. Good. Kind of like this actually little shoulder strategy. I'm gonna maybe use that more often. Okay. Now let's see here. Okay, so now you can really see he's starting to pop up. So we did C7 earlier. It definitely moved really well. But you notice after I did C7, his head was still pretty funky looking. And I was kind of like, ha, that doesn't make sense. But now that I'm starting to do some of these lumbars, his head's starting to come up more. It's getting a little less heavy. And I'm gonna recheck seven again once I get all the way down here. And he's definitely got something down here. So the nice thing about the mirror is now I can actually look at where the vertebrae are. So there's four. I can come across. I can see right about at about four or five here, he's got something small that's too forward. That's not too big. It's probably like right here at five. And five it's gonna be. Okay, so sit in the middle here for me again. Legs that way. Good. Okay, cross your arms over each other. So now we're gonna do L5. With the head off? Yeah, oh yeah, pop the head off for me. I'll take mine off here. Okay, relax your shoulders all the way down. Let your stomach go loose. Good, right about here, relax your stomach all the way down. Looser than that. No, hold on. Relax your stomach right up. There, that's how you do it. Good, now let's go see. Okay, now take a breath, relax. Okay, so now we've probably got that in, but he's got some other funky stuff going. Nothing too crazy. Let's recheck that one I just did. So his gut came in, but he might have something in the legs or the pelvis going on here. So bring this up a little. Let's go way down sacrum. Okay, sacrum's okay there. Let's check both sides down here. Uh huh. It's fine there. Let's check his femurs. That's fine. That's also fine. Uh huh. All right, so let's check some legs and feet and things. So, lay face up for me. Head can go here. Legs towards my side. So the reason we're thinking there might be something in the legs and feet is because even though L5 is in, his stomach's sucked in, he still has this kind of off-balance thing in the bottom end. So just nice and loose here. Good. There we go. There. So we're checking feet right now first. Good. That's it. Okay. Nice. Good. Nice. There we go. Okay, let's oh, stay there for me, Dave. All right, so now we're gonna fix a couple bones on the bottom here. So we're just gonna clear his feet. And then we're gonna see what happens after I clear his feet and legs. Just because I think there's something funky going on down here. Good, okay, now we're gonna fix your fibulas here. So just relax your leg for me. So gonna come out, let it slide, good. Okay, there's one fibula done. Let's do this other one. Good. Okay, good. Now let's make sure these aren't too tight. All right, let's check his breathing here. Okay, so 
Take a nice deep breath in. Let it go loose. Breathing's pretty decent. Let me lower you down a little. One more time, take a breath. So he's got a little catch in there. I'll let this go loose. Right about here. So I'm gonna fix this for you. Just as you breathe out on the next one, I'm gonna compress these. Just let your chest sink with me. Take a deep breath, let it all go loose. Good, let it relax. There you go. And do one more here. Let it relax, nice. There we go. Okay, so now let's take a look. Now take a deep one. Ah, much better. Okay, come over on my side now. So let's just see now what's gonna happen. Let's see if he gets funky or less funky. We'll find out. So take a nice deep breath, relax. Okay, so a little less funky, but he's definitely got something small going on here somewhere. So I'm gonna recheck and make sure I didn't pull something out down here. Let's go right to here first. There you go, thank you. Okay. Oh, that's fine. How about down here? Uh-huh, that's fine. Let's go back up to that seven. Yeah, see what's interesting is, bring this up. So I'm checking seven. Seven's not coming up, but you can tell by looking at his posture doesn't look right. He's definitely got his head down a teensy bit. See, he can't hold it up very well, right? <laughs> he keeps trying to, but he keeps flopping, right? So probably what's happened here is I've treated him and he started to unwind into a meningeal adhesion somewhere now. So tuck your chin for me. Look back to normal straight ahead. Uh-huh. Yeah, see, so that probably happened the moment I did his C7 earlier, but I still wanted to finish all the way through the protocol. So tuck the chin all the way down. Look straight ahead, back to normal. Yeah, and so he has a meningeal adhesion. So now let's get rid of that. So lay face up for me. Head will go here. Feet can go that way. And you can bend the knees. Let the feet just rest on top of that. Yep. This is going to come up just like this. Good. Okay, so this is an anterior meningeal adhesion. This is for scar tissue that's on the front of the inside of the body. Can I have you pop the hat off for a sec there, dude? Thank you. Okay, so we're getting the strap over here. Strap is just so that his whole body doesn't get stretched. You only want to stretch the part I need. Arms, let him relax. So he's probably only had maybe a handful of these in his time. Most of his adhesions have been lateral adhesions. So in a sec, Dave, I'm going to tuck your chin. It's going to get tight up in here. Just stay loose. I'm going to bring you over to the left-hand shoulder. As you breathe out, when I tell you, I'm going to tuck your chin, and then I'm going to stretch you straight towards this side here, okay? So give me a sec. Let me figure out where it is. Just nice and relaxed. So he's starting to get tight there. I'm going to see if he gets any tighter. Yeah, so he's got an adhesion probably right about T6. Nice and loose here. I'm going to bring you right to there. Okay, I'm going to flip my hands. Take a deep breath from here. Loose as you can. Relax your head. Good. Relax more. And it's gone. Beautiful. Glorious. Now, if I'm right, hopefully his head becomes a little less heavy. So let's see. Okay. Nice deep breath in. Ah, and he'll tell you, hey, my head doesn't feel as heavy, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> His chin's not That's falling better. down. Yeah. So see, he had this meningeal adhesion probably 10 minutes ago, but I still finished out the whole protocol, and then I came back, okay? Because you still want to finish all the way through before you come back and get rid of it. So now let's recheck. Back to normal. Good. Uh-huh. Look up for me. Back to normal. Yes. Nothing. Look to your right. Back to normal. Oh, beautiful. Left side, back to normal. Oh, am I gonna get lucky? I'm gonna get two for one. <laughs> Look to the left, back to normal. I might get a two for one special here. Yeah, I'm gonna get a two for one special. Okay, so I'm gonna have you sit on the edge for me. Feet on the floor. Okay, pop the uh, hat off again for me. So yeah, we had another meningeal adhesion show up. That's why you see he's almost exactly where I wanna leave him, but he's just not quite uh, to my standard yet. So let the feet kind of fall out for me. And I want you to let this slouch down here. There, all the way, yeah, that's it. Let me have it from here now. Really relax into my hands. I've got you here on both sides. Good, nice and relaxed. Let your shoulder go loose. Good, relax your head, I've got it, relax. Let this open up, good. Good, still looser than that, there you go. Still looser. <laughs> nice. Glorious. The crack addicts are going to be so excited. <laughs> okay. All right. Now take a deep breath in. Okay, good. So now you see he fell forward again. So now that likely means seven or something else has gone more forward now that I unlocked him a bit. Let's just see where it is. It might be even T1. 
take a breath, relax. Let me see where you fold. Yeah, it's probably... Actually, you might have even unlocked the lumbar. Let me see. No, not four. Maybe L5 right there. Let's do this L5 actually again, now that I've unlocked you a little bit. Let me put my finger on before you sit there. Oh, let me see, let me see. Face that way. Let me just make sure I got the exact spot. Okay, I got you. Now you can sit there. Oh yeah, careful with your foot. <laughs> yeah, poor foot of yours. <laughs> Taking two major hits today. <laughs> okay, uh, let the legs go flat. Cross your arms for me. Let your chin tuck to the floor. Let your stomach go loose, I've got you. There, now right here, let your stomach relax more. All the way loose, hold on, relax your stomach. That's it, just like that. Oh, good. Now, right there. Knocked your head off, it was so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take a breath, relax. Good. He still has got a little slouch in there. So, one of two scenarios here. Bring this up a little. Usually you'd think C7, but C7 comes up negative. I wonder if it's T1. T1 comes up positive. What about T2? So I'm going to do T1. So let's go right here. Let me just feel my spots here. Cross the arms over each other. Good. I feel like one mic is good enough. All right, bring the head to here for a sec. There you go. There's T1. I bet you it is T1. There's your two. Okay, keep your head right where you got it. Good. Relax your shoulders all the way. A couple small pushes here. I'm just going to feel. Good. Relax your shoulders. So I like to treat T1 like C7. I like to feel it. Yeah, I'm in the right spot. So head just barely. There's a piece of it. There's two more. Bring the head back a bit. Thank you. I treat it like C7 for the most part. Now take a deep breath, relax. Okay. Now I'm going to fix a rib here. Cross your arms for me. Or oh, sorry, not cross your arms. <laughs> Bring these out for me. Let your head come back just a little right there. Relax your shoulders all the way to the floor. All the way down. Yep, just drop them. There you go. Loose here. Good. And one more. Relax. And relax. Good. Okay. Let's see where we're at here. Now take a breath and relax. Good. Now I'm pretty happy. Take a breath and relax. Yeah. Maybe there's... Maybe I'm being a little nitpicky, but... You could make the argument... But there's one right here. I might as well fix it. Why not? Let's just go all the way in. <laughs> We're already here. Oh, I mean, well, I'm learning from my mistakes. Mike comes off. Okay. Relax your body down. Do this some more. Relax those shoulders more. Thank you. And right there. Take a breath, relax. Good. And now I'm going to get a little bit of that fold out. Relax your shoulders. There you go. Nice deep breath, relax. And that's as good as I'm gonna get him because he looks much better. So, how you feel? Would you suggest ABC to other people? Absolutely. <laughs> Game changer? Absolutely. All right, guys, yeah. give me a call. I'd love to treat you.